I'm going to show you how I achieved this look within 15 minutes as a fibroid string cage and period coach. Usually I don't wear makeup but sometimes when I do I try to keep contact minimal as you will see in this video. I don't really go for very expensive products because that's not what matters to me. So anyone can do this makeup no matter how ugly you think you are and no matter how broke you think you are. If you're interested just keep watching. So now I'm going to show you the timer on my phone. We're starting now and I'm going to explain everything in the video. So makeup for me is just a way to make my face pop so I can leave. Normally I just leave the house with eyebrows, eyeliner and lip gloss. So sometimes to start my makeup like today my lips are feeling really dry that's why I'm doing this. It's just a blend of olive oil and don't laugh a little foundation. <laughs> So, yes, I just made that because I just did that so I can put um eyeliner around it. It's nothing special. There's no effect to it. It's just something I made. Now, for my eyebrows, my friend normally calls my eyebrows rat tail eyebrows. I started making this kind of eyebrows back in how many years ago? It's been a long time. But, well, you see it. I try to look down so that when I'm doing my eyebrows, I get this winged effect, like angel wing effect, as you can see. So I just keep building on it and try to take it to the edge. So you do the eyebrows as you feel it fits your face. I just don't know how to do the Nike eyebrows and I don't think it's ever going to fit me. And I don't want to do eyebrows with sharp edges. As you would see here, I'm going to take the um, a toothbrush because I normally use the brush part of my angle brush, but it fell off. So now I just use a toothbrush. What I'm doing now is brushing my eyebrows up. I have very full eyebrows, but I trimmed them for this effect. So what I'm doing now is brushing my eyebrows up and then I'll go to the beginning of where I started drawing the line to remove the mark of the pencil and make it look natural so when you see the makeup it looks like these are my actual eyebrows and not that I'm I drew a pencil on it so for the rest of the video I almost I, I didn't struggle with this and it took some time so you might see that the makeup took 17 minutes rather than 15 that I told you about Normally it's 10 minutes. I wanted this video to be about 10 minutes, but it just took took so much time because of all this serere. So normally this just happens like really fast. And I do the bottom with the angle brush. You use I use the sharp side of the angle brush to do this. So sometimes I just don't do this at all. I just do my eyebrows and lip gloss and eyeliner and I leave. But I'm doing this now. Sometimes it's frustrating to do it. Sometimes I use the same color as the color of my skin. What I'm using now is a color that is a little brighter than the color of my skin as you can see. So you have to make sure that this blends, which is something that is not really easy for me. So most times I don't do the top and most times I use the color of my skin, which is a foundation I'll show you later. So that I don't have to do much of this blending thing that is happening. Now when you come around the edge of your eyebrow, some people tend to give it sharp lines, but I try to make sure it looks natural. So you see I'm going around and I'm cleansing the sharp edges of the eyebrow. At the end of this makeup you realize that my forehead is so big I couldn't really go around it with the foundation. <laughs> If it doesn't look equal, it's not bad. Eyebrows are sisters, not twins. <laughs> so with the remaining one on my nose now, I'm just going to go around my eyes. It might look like I'm putting pressure, but I am not. For the rest of this video, you may think I'm putting pressure on my face, but I am certainly not. It's just that I'm doing this very fast. So it looks like I'm putting pressure, but I'm not really like 
pulling my face or my skin or anything this is gentle i'm practically like just dabbing but very fast so it looks like i'm putting pressure please don't put pressure on your face so somehow when i'm doing this one eyebrow becomes smaller and i have to then try and see if i can fix it or reduce the other one so that they are the same so now i have my face my eyes brighter than other parts of my body and this is the part where i will then have to go in with the foundation that is the actual color of my skin On my lips now, I'm just putting a liner and then I'll just leave it for a while and continue doing other things. This is the foundation that is the actual color of my skin. So I'm taking it and I'm just putting around my face. On a normal day, this is just enough and I will leave. I don't care if it covers or if it doesn't. I just want that front of my face to look good and i blend it out around and i'm good to go but for the sake of this video i had to add a second um round not really a second layer that's the difference i just had to put at the outer edges of my face because i noticed that i didn't want to leave my face like this normally don't laugh this is the way i step out i just put my hair everywhere and i'm out but this time I'm just adding to the other parts of my face where I didn't put anything before. And I'm going to be honest with you, I'm just doing this for the video. <laughs> okay. So I'm adding this to the extra part of my face. So it covers, you know, before the people who are better than me in the comments say, You did not put the edge of your face, blah, 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 blah. All of those things don't matter. So, yeah back on my forehead like i said before i usually don't care and i don't have enough energy or patience to put this foundation or to even go around my forehead as you would see there are parts of my forehead that i couldn't reach some of you who have small foreheads you will not be able to relate or understand just check out this is the part of my forehead that i neglected and I also noticed that I didn't apply to the top of my lips. <laughs> oh my god, my makeup routine. So this is usually the way I step out of the house but I just want to put like the first foundation again that bright color under my eyes because this summer I didn't sleep at all like I couldn't sleep honestly so now I have eye bags and I don't like having eye bags so for that reason I'm putting this bright color under my eyes again just to you know make that place look a bit brilliant so i'm trying to blend it to my face like i said before this is not pressure it looks like pressure now that i'm watching it but i'm just dabbing with one finger and it's just very very soft you can do it on your face as you watch just to see that this is just dabbing okay especially around the eyes i try not to put any pressure at all like i make sure everything around my eyes is minimal because your eyes are like the how do they put it the stars of your your beauty i don't know and from your eyes a person can actually tell your age tell if you're stressed tell if you're honest tell if you're happy so i don't i don't want to play around my eyes at all so before when i apply this eyeliner i used to put it like under not inside never inside 
just under and it will be so obvious but then i looked at my eyes and i was like oh there's a part of your eyes where you're supposed to put this it's not inside it's outside so i put it outside it is true that people who put it inside have a different look but i prefer to put it outside when i'm using this kind of lead pencil if i were using kajal i would say okay let me try putting it inside but even with kajal i still put it outside so this is my eyeshadow i've had it for a year now and I'm just going to put it, um, I'm, I'm taking something deep red or brown. I don't know the color. It's kind of brown. So I'm just putting it there. This is like my universal go-to makeup and it goes with everything I wear. And the reason why is because I do this makeup just according to my skin tone. So it matches like my face. It looks like my face sometimes um people put colors according to what they're wearing but i've i've not really been bold enough to play with colors like that so i'm putting um black now at the edge uh, with the same brush you would not believe that i stay on the 10th floor and anyone passing by downstairs i can hear everything so now i'm blending it very very well so normally there would be another bright color that i'll put directly under my eyebrows but i don't have that anymore it's finished so now the bright foundation that i put is playing that role now i'm taking a shiny orange color just to put something bright on my eyes and you see the effect in the finished product so this one just stays at my little eyelid because you know some of you have bold big cute eyelids and we have these um covered um one layer eyelids <laughs> so that's it now i'm going to do this with the same eye pencil this is gentle okay if your eye pencil is harsh do not do this sometimes i just do this and step out no eyeshadow at all but I'm putting this because with the liquid eyeliner, it's hard for me to just easily find my way. I'm not a professional with liquid eyeliner. So I try to use this one just to give me like a guide on many days. And usually I would just step out like this. But on some days, like today, I don't know. I just feel like it. I would then take the eyeliner and put on top of this one the liquid eyeliner so now when i'm using the liquid eyeliner it's just following the black eyeliner eye pencil that i just used because the black eye pencil was easier for me to use there used to be eyeliners that had solid tips but this these days the eyeliners come with a very tiny brush that is so flexible and any mistake you have eyeliner all around your face so that's why i started doing this time for mascara because i'm wearing white i'm covering my body because i don't want the mascara like having pouring dots on my beautiful white shirt so let's do the mouth thing have i done it you know sometimes you're doing this voiceover and you forget to watch the video so there's this mouth thing people do when they're doing their eyeliner where they just go oh <laughs> where you put your mouth like you just become something else i don't know if i've done that if i have please let me know so now i'm just putting the eye um mascara i do like two coats on some days like today but every other day i just make sure that it doesn't have powder on it so that's the mistake i'm making today now i'm putting my eyeliner before my powder and i think that's just another proof that on a real day i just put that eyeliner put the mascara get out of the house so now i'm just going to i don't even know what i have in my hand oh lip gloss 
so now i'm just putting um lip gloss on my lips you remember that i already put some oil and then i lined the edges so now i'm just putting a little lip gloss on it so you put a lip gloss that is your color the lip gloss that you like I like lip glosses that make me have this um, almost natural look so I don't know I'm not bold enough to be too colored yet so now I'm putting the second coating of the um, mascara this is supposed to give it some volume trust me if to this makeup you put your fake lashes my god it's just going to pop but now I'm just using my little lashes. So the powder I'm using has a fancy name, but no, it doesn't meet its promise. But I'm still using it anyway because it's kind of difficult to find any powder without Mika. Or powder without talc like I would tell you in other videos and like I've said on my Instagram minimize contact so because I'm only using this like today and might not wear makeup again till maybe next month I can use any powder you know because we're not friends we don't talk to each other all the time as you guys can see this is the powder brush I use and it's broken now I'm putting powder around my eye eyelid to make the look more blended. And I'm also putting powder under my eyes just to see if I can still achieve a pop. Some people would put baking powder to each his own. Remember this video is about how I use 15 minutes to wear my makeup as a fibroid and period coach. Which means this is minimal contact with makeup, no long wear. But today I wore it for a long time just to show you, especially for people who are going to say, oh, she, she didn't wear a primer. Oh, she didn't spray the face. Oh, how is the makeup going to stay? The makeup is going to stay. Makeup stayed before all those things came into existence. So I don't know what you're talking about. The time is 17 minutes past when we started. And, and this is the end of the makeup. If you're waiting for anything else wonderful to happen, I don't know. This is it. It's normally faster on a good day. Um, on a very normal day, this is 10 minutes. For this video, it was supposed to be 15 minutes, but it's okay. So what I'm doing now is I'm just putting a dot with the gold, bright gold, in the middle of my eyes. And I'm going to connect it to that um shiny orange that we put the last time this is not compulsory i just felt like let me do something girly and add it to this makeup so that's why i'm doing this and that's the effect that it gives this is the makeup guys please try it and let me know what you think oh another reason why i could pull this off was because my face is pretty smooth except for the small breakouts i'm having on my forehead because I just started using a particular product hey guys so I recently started using this um, product 